<laughs> Am I doing really good? Yeah, that's sweet. We're heading into the range of the Chase Caribou. We're conducting this work for the BC government to better understand the quality and quantity of winter forage for caribou. The question that we are looking to answer is, are caribou in the Wolverine, Chase, and Tudati herd range limited by the availability of lichen winter forage? At each site, we establish five circular plots with a 12 and a half meter radius. We measure this and then tie flagging to give ourselves a visual representation of the survey area. Within each plot, all trees, snags, and stumps are counted and recorded. The amount of arboreal lichen, which is the lichen that grows on trees, is also measured. We then measure the abundance of terrestrial lichens, which are the caribou forage lichens that grow on the ground. We use a one meter square frame to help us estimate percent cover through visual measurements for each species of terrestrial lichen present within our plot. Improving our understanding of winter forage is critical for caribou management, as this is the time of year when food is most limited and environmental conditions are most difficult. Being able to bring my dogs to the field with me is incredible. Piper is a lab mix and Scout is a small terrier mix. They absolutely love driving in the truck and sniffing around every plot that we stop to survey. Working long days in the field is so much easier knowing that the dogs are at my side having their best day. Kenna is a German Shepherd and St. Bernard mix. Bringing her with me to the field is a great part of the job, and she keeps us entertained. She makes sure all the sticks are chewed and the sniffs are sniffed. It just adds to our day. Even in difficult field conditions, raining, cold, long days, the dogs are still having a good time, and that's what gets me through the day. This field data is helping us to refine a statistical model that predicts the presence, abundance, and biomass of terrestrial and arboreal caribou forage lichens within the Wolverine, Chase, and Tudati caribou ranges. We use predictive vegetation resource inventory variables that include soil nutrient regime, soil moisture, basal area, tree canopy composition and others to predict the relative abundance of both terrestrial and arboreal lichen. These caribou choose remote, low productivity forests in the winter that are dominated by these ground lichens. Some of these sites can be difficult for us to access and require long drives and hikes. The days definitely have their challenges with weather, bugs, but it's rewarding to be outside and adding as much data as possible to inform our understanding of where these important low elevation lichen habitats are located. Our work this year has improved our predictive model of lichen availability and overall habitat capability for caribou. The results of this study will allow land managers to better identify where these important low elevation caribou winter habitats are located and whether winter forage abundance is a limiting factor for caribou in these ranges. Changes on the landscape are accelerating. The threat to caribou is habitat alteration, fragmentation, and loss that results from industrial activities and natural disturbances such as fire. This is why proactive and practical efforts are needed to identify and protect these important low elevation caribou winter habitats. My name is Kamila Matyshakiewicz, and I'm a wildlife biologist with Chuchu Environmental. My name is Sean Rappai, and I'm a terrestrial ecologist with Chucho Environmental. I appreciate the opportunity to work with talented people with BC and LGL on these important projects, and to benefit and better understand these caribou and their habitat. <laughs>